the champion says a prayer in his corner. It's 1964, and a young brash fighter named Cassius Clay who would later be known as Muhammad Ali, steps into the ring to face Sonny Liston, the heavyweight champion feared by everyone. Clay was the underdog, but what happened that night shocked the world. Ali had a secret weapon, science. Yep, you heard me right. Ali was unknowingly a master of the physics and psychology that make boxing so amazing. Today, we're diving into the science behind those punches, the slick moves, and the mind games that make boxing a true art. So buckle up, because we're about to geek out on some boxing magic. When you see a fighter in the ring, you're witnessing a perfect blend of strength, speed, and precision. But did you know that every punch starts from the ground up? This concept is linked to Isaac Newton's third law of motion, which states that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So when a boxer pushes off the ground, they're generating force that travels up through their body. This force, known as kinetic energy, is what makes a punch powerful. But how does it actually work? Well, it starts with the legs, then travels up through the hips and core, and finally reaches the fist. This was first studied in depth by Ernst Mach, an Austrian physicist who discovered how motion and energy transfer through different parts of the body. When you think of a punch, imagine it as a chain reaction, a perfect synergy of muscle and motion. Now, let's talk defense because nobody likes getting their face rearranged. Boxers don't just stand there and take punches. They've got a secret weapon called proprioception. Fancy word, right? It's like your body's built-in radar, thanks to Sir Charles Sherrington, who figured this out. This radar helps boxers sense where they are and dodge punches like they're in the Matrix. This isn't just about staying pretty, although that's a nice bonus. It's about survival in the ring. The best boxers can dance around punches like they've got eyes in the back of their heads, all thanks to this cool proprioception thing. So yeah, defense, it's as much science as it is skill. Now, let's explore the mental side of boxing. You've probably heard the phrase, boxing is 90% mental. That statement is backed by science. Inside the ring, a boxer's mind is just as important as their muscles. A key concept here is fight or flight, a term introduced by Walter Cannon, a pioneering physiologist. When a boxer faces an opponent, their body goes into a state of heightened awareness thanks to the release of adrenaline. This prepares them to either fight or flee. But in boxing, it's about controlling that response, using the adrenaline to stay sharp, make quick decisions, and execute strategies. Mental toughness, therefore, is not just about enduring pain or pressure. It's about harnessing the brain's natural responses to stay focused and composed under extreme conditions. And now is the part where we talk about how these fighters don't run out of gas after round one. It's not just endless push-ups, folks. Boxers train their energy systems like they're tuning a race car. Thanks to A.V. Hill, who won a Nobel Prize for figuring out how our muscles work, we know all about aerobic and anaerobic systems. Hill discovered that muscles use two main energy systems, the aerobic system, which uses oxygen, and the anaerobic system, which doesn't. Boxers train both systems to optimize performance. During intense bursts of activity, like throwing a flurry of punches, they rely on the anaerobic system. But between those bursts, the aerobic system helps them recover, keeping them fresh for the next round. This balance of energy systems is crucial for a boxer to stay strong, fast, and focused throughout a fight. So there you have it, the science behind boxing. From Newton's laws to mental chess matches and turbocharged conditioning, boxing is way more than just swinging fists. It's a blend of brains and brawn. The next time you watch a boxing match, take a moment to appreciate the incredible blend of art and science unfolding in the ring. Thanks for watching, and if you found this as fascinating as I did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more deep dives into the science of sports. Catch you in the next one.